Welcome to Five True Singles. This story is from Jeremy Carter and was recorded August 18th, 2013. The theme was Look What I Did, stories of accomplishments, triumphs, and other things we thought we'd never do. So uh, when I was in eighth grade, uh, I, from, from the time I was, I don't know, six, I've always drawn pictures. And one of the first pictures that I really remember and was very proud of was I went to a private religious school that was funded by my church. We'll get to that. <laughs> and uh, I drew, you had to draw a picture of, in kindergarten, of your favorite um, uh, Bible characters. So I, I drew a picture of Adam and Eve uh, with the little green strip of, of land and then the little blue strip of sky and the sun and then Adam and Eve uh, who were both brunettes, neither of them wearing a leaf and Eve had a dick. <laughs> You have no idea how disappointed I am that my mother didn't keep that picture. <laughs> uh, so as years went by, you know, we got cable. The more money my dad's business made, and I kept going to that damn school, and, um, and I kept drawing pictures, and I developed this little dinosaur character. It was basically a Garfield ripoff. It was Leo and Doug, and Leo looked a lot like Dino, and he lived with Doug, and so I wanted to be a cartoonist, and really I wanted to be an animator, and then we got the Disney Channel, and I wanted to be an animator, right? For it, you know what I'm talking about. I wanted to be an animator for, the, for Walt Disney. Uh, you know, careful what you wish for. I was like, I'm gonna move to California and I'm gonna work for the Disney company. And <laughs> I can hear every single person I've shared a break room with at Disneyland <laughs> laughing in this room right now. Uh, that was, uh, that was, a uh, boy. Uh, but, uh, so in eighth grade, uh, we had the chance to finally have a science project, and I said, great, I'm going to animate my, my cartoon character, Leo, uh, the dinosaur, who's lazy. It was Garfield. And, <laughs> and so I had my dad build the, the light box, uh, which, you know, this is before anything digital so you had to draw I you know wanted to draw it all by hand um, so my dad built this box thing with a piece of glass in it and a light bulb inside and that's how you trace so you could get the figure to move so you could see through the paper and then draw the different movements so this was and I was like they were like how do you how are you gonna get it to film son and I went well I've read in this uh, uh, 1964 library book <laughs> with boogers in it, that, <laughs> that you need this I, camera that is as tall as this room, I guess, and that's how you shoot it. And it turns out all you needed was a sta to stabilize an eight millimeter, which was all set and ready to go. And at this school, like I said, it was a private school and very, uh, you know, I, I essentially went to church six days a week. And, uh, I don't, I don't go to church anymore. <laughs> Bravo. Thank you. Nothing quite as galvanizing as telling a story about religion, huh? <laughs> Get them on your side. Don't worry about it. Don't hold back. So at school, there would be, there was speaking in tongues and faith healing. And my preacher would say things like, uh, there were uh, there were a pacific number of directions and it's like and you have a following of thousands you fat asshole <laughs> so my science teacher was this uh, sweet woman who I've been racking my brain for weeks trying to remember her name I know I could look in the yearbook except that's in Kansas where I'm from and asking mom could you go into yeah down in the barn one of the yearbooks, past the spiders, so I can't remember her name. <laughs> Big lady, little car, she get, and I, know, I remember this 
because she gave me a ride home one time. And she's here with us in spirit now. Let's go. This one's for you, Miss Pirtle. That's not her name, but that's the only thing that comes to me. It was one of those cars where it would creak when every time it... Metal on metal creaking. Uh, big lady. Big lady. Big lady. Uh, and anyway, she uh, uh, was giving me a ride home one day and uh, asked me about my project. You know, we had to submit information, you know, turn in your little paper. This is what I'm going to do. And she, she said, well, yours, I don't, now I, I don't know much about uh, animation, Jeremy. So uh, what is it exactly that, uh, that you're going to animate? And I said, well, I'm, I'm going to animate my cartoon character. Oh. Well, that's very exciting. I seem to recall confiscating a couple of those <laughs> during some of my lectures on biology, which it's Christian biology, so it's magic. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, no, let's take three hours to pray in fucking tongues, but don't teach me about dinosaurs. <laughs> I'm working through that anger. I know it comes out. Uh, so, uh, she's, you know, she's, she's very supportive and very positive. That's great. She drops me off. I, I've, I don't think I'm going to be able to do this. But each time I work on the project, I'm thinking of, I, I'm just, you know, when you work on something that you've seen other people do, and you go, I'm doing that thing I wanted to do. I, you know, those backstage uh, things of like, and this is how we made uh, Snow White. You'll see the cells when you flip them this way, and I'm doing that. I'm drawing it on the cellophane, cellophane cells, and it wasn't going to be in color. I couldn't afford a painter. And, uh, uh, and, and the project is ready to go, and a friend of ours down the street had the 8 millimeter camera. So we stabilize it, and it, there wasn't too much jumping around, but there was some hair still. Uh, you know, those, the little hair that gets stuck in there. <laughs> and it's like, uh, your cartoon's great. All I can watch is that thing. All I can watch is that thing. <laughs> and uh, I present it, and I don't think anybody in the class knew that we would be presenting our science projects to the whole school. It's a private school, so it's K through 12. Each class has about between 25 and 35 people in it. So, uh, you know, when you're in eighth grade, a uh, perfectly comfortable age for everybody, <laughs> I think. You know, and, and when polos are in style, so it's like, oh, you see a kid's nipples and he's a boy. Uh, you don't really want to get up in front of the seniors and go, I, I haven't discovered masturbating yet. And, <laughs> So we get up there and, and uh, everything goes pretty well. You know, one kid had a volcano and it was like, ooh, you know, and all that stuff. Actually, the volcano didn't work. Uh, <laughs> sorry, Danny. Uh, and and uh, so I get up to present mine. And uh, before I get up to present mine, before I get up to present mine, my teacher said, has seen it, of course, and said, uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Principal Freemeyer has a problem. You, it's a, it's a dinosaur, <laughs> and it's a, and I made the dinosaur dance, so it's a dancing dinosaur. <laughs> These are two things that they don't go for <laughs> in this sect of religiosity. <laughs> right. So they, they said, we're going to go ahead and let you show it. But uh, I, I don't think we're, we're, we're going to, I can't give you an A on the project. You know, it was that kind of thing. I was like, but I did, and it was, it's a lot of work. It was only 20 seconds of animation of, you know. <laughs> but, you know, I poured my eighth grade heart and soul into this. Uh, up to then, I think my biggest accomplishment was, I've got six Stormtrooper action figures. <laughs> I have an army! And so I show it and the, everybody thought that was great. It was really cool. Uh, but uh, 
but I didn't get the A that I thought I should have gotten because, right, you know? Uh, uh, but uh, the moral of the story is don't try anything. <laughs> Life's just going to chew you up and spit you up. <laughs> and the rest of you that life eats, it's going to take a shit and that'll be it. Um, but sadly, sadly, because it was on film, uh, it burned. Oh. It... <laughs> here's an here's a epilogue. Sure. Uh, it was in my grandmother's car, and my grandmother smoked. <laughs> <laughs> and it was <laughs> I mean it it caught fire in her car but that's okay because it didn't run it wasn't about to run much longer anyway uh, so she was smoking and uh, the ashtray was full so she was waiting to ash I guess is what she she goes and I was wait I didn't want to ash so I held it over here to put the window down and it caught fire <laughs> It, it, don't worry, it burns some priceless family photos, too, uh, from when my mom and her sisters and brother were a kid. Anyway. <laughs> I, I, f I felt it was highly ridiculous that they almost didn't show it, but I felt very proud of what I did. And I thank you for this opportunity. You're dying. Oh, you wait. Because she was about to clap. And I want to wait. Just for a moment. Clap now! Thank you. The story you just heard was a lie.